Hello, my Q's and T's, my cuties. This is Dr. V of LiveTarot.com. And if you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome. Here I do twin flame readings, money, career, and business readings, as well as deck reviews. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss anything, okay? So today we are doing a twin flame reading. And so I'm gonna start shuffling the decks, but as I do that, I wanted to let you know that I've created two free guides for you. So um, they are there to help you with whatever kind of love journey that you are on. Um, they do utilize the word twin flame, but it doesn't have to be, right? So it's whatever you feel a deep connection with someone, right? And so I wrote those to help you gain some clarity, some healing, maybe answer some of the questions you have about um, this connection that you're feeling. So you can go to livetarot.com and download those for absolutely free. Um, let's see. So I've put the links in them to them. So I put the link in the description box below as well, um, just in case you forget. And um, if you'd like to order a personal reading or any of the Live Tarot decks, then um, I also have the links for you for that in the box below. Um, I have added due to you guys is um, feedback. Um, I have added some new readings to my menu of readings. So you can go ahead to that link there. Um, it's livetarot.com forward slash readings and it'll give you all of your options. But please also do note that there is a current wait time of seven business days for a personal reading, okay? Also, I also want you to know that before we start, I want you to take the messages as they resonate for you, right? Um, this really isn't about the labels. So it doesn't matter if it's a twin flame, a soulmate, a immortal beloved, however which way you see the person that you are in love with, that is what is correct. And we do speak from the um, perspective of the divine feminine, but again, that is also not um, limited to um, uh, to genders, right? So um, anybody could be a divine masculine, anybody can be a divine feminine. So again, Use what resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? All right, I'm almost set here. And the other thing that I also want you to know is make sure that you listen very closely to the questions that we're going to be asking Spirit because all of my readings are all about asking, right? Asking because the, the clarity, the answers, they're coming from Spirit, right? So um, my readings are all about asking good questions to get you some clarity, to get you some peace, some empowerment because I know um, that many of you are struggling, are feeling some pain, right? Because, you know, the journey to love is not easy easy. Not, it's not easy for anybody. So for those of you who are really struggling right now and feel very broken hearted and, you know, are feeling really down, I want you to know that you're not alone. Okay. Sometimes we look around and we think, gosh, why is everybody else happy but me? Why does everybody else seem like they have it all good and all perfect but me? But I want you to let, want to let you know that that's not true. Okay. Everybody struggles. They may not show you, they may not you know, be obvious about it, but you know, these are trying times and these are, um, you know, times of people, um, struggling to connect. Okay. So just be gentle with yourself. All right. So we're going to start the reading here and right before I start, I want to say, now this is what we're going to do. Okay. So at the end of the reading, okay. When all of this is done, I want you to do two things for me. Okay. The first is, in the comment below, I want you to write our empowering affirmation of the day, okay? So today's is gonna be, and last time I know you guys, you guys were amazing, we did I Am Unstoppable and I could feel your vibrance, I could feel your energy, I could feel your power, it was wonderful. Today we have a new one, okay? And it's called I Am 
pure joy. Okay. Now the reason I chose this is because again, I know that many of you write to me and you leave comments and I know that sometimes you guys are feeling down. Okay. And I, I really feel that you have to reconnect with that deep joy that is your birthright, that is part of who you naturally are, but is getting covered, right? But covered with challenges, covered with, you know, things not going the way you want them to. So this is why I want you to write, I am pure joy in the comments box, comments box, box, sorry, in order to remind yourself of who you really are. You are pure joy. And I want you to try to access that, to bring that back into your experience because it will transform you. You're going to feel so much better. Okay. So that's the first thing. Second thing I want you to write is, and this is optional. It's totally up to you. It is share your soul expansion insight. And so what we mean by that, this is what we do in our readings is a soul expansion insight is just a simple, a little bit more complicated, actually way of saying an aha moment or a light bulb moment. But the reason why I actually call it soul expansion insight is because I want you to focus not on the light bulb part, but I want you to focus on how this insight, something that is a light bulb, something new that um, touched for you is going to expand your soul, right? It's going to help you to continuously empower yourself and step into the greatest version of yourself. And that's why we call it soul expansion insight, because I want you to focus on how this is going to make you a better person. Okay. So if you have one of those after this reading, say something just stood out to you and you're like, wow, aha, (laughs) ah, I needed to think of it this way. Oh, I needed this. Go ahead and share that in the comments box below as well. Again, totally optional, but I do want you to at least write, I am pure joy because that is going to make you feel wonderful. All right. So here we go. Let's get on with it. Let's start with our opening prayer. (sighs) Beloved spirit, send your guidance through these cards for the greatest benefit of all these beautiful souls who are watching. Okay, so let's open the reading with our first question. So Spirit, what is the Divine Masculine's current energy coming into this reading? What is the Divine Masculine's current energy coming into this reading? This one actually just, did you notice it just kind of stood out? So we're going to take that. Okay. So this, let's take a look at this. Okay. Knight of Cups, as well as the Four of Pentacles. So this tells me that right now the masculine is in a, an emotional energy. Okay. The Knight of Cups tells us that there is definite emotion going on here. Okay. But at the same time, we have this four of pentacles, which is all about holding on to those emotions, being possessive about them, um, having more of a hoarding kind of an energy, a miserly kind of energy, holding on to your cups, right? the whole thing about cups is that it's your emotional energy. It's your, you know, it's also that watery energy of filling your cup with that love and then offering it to the person that you love. And the Knight of Cups makes sense here with this four of pentacles, because this is a a bit of a slower moving energy. It is a more of a hesitant energy. And now you have kind of a full stop here with this four of pentacles, which is a, a completely hoarding possessive energy. So what I'm getting is that the 
the divine masculines that we are channeling right now are in a miserly energy. They're holding back right now. They're holding back. And so it could have something to do with the fact that they're in denial. So what does this say? Repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. Okay. Makes perfect sense. What a perfect combination here. One of the reasons why, why do people hoard their energy or why do they withhold their love or withhold their feelings? Part of it is because they're in denial, right? It's a type of repression. It's a type of rejection of their own feelings because they're unable to see below the surface. They don't want to go deep. For some reason, it, it, it scares them. And so that's why you're also getting the appreciate card. So there's something here in the masculine that is not in an appreciative state right now. He's not in a state of appreciation because if he was, he would be more giving. Okay. He would be more, he wouldn't be in that four of pentacles, miserly energy. He would definitely be not in denial and more of a giving energy. So there's definitely a lack of appreciation for this masculine right now. Okay. So then um, how does our next question is, if that's the case, how is the divine masculine feeling about the feminine right now? Okay. How, well, how is the divine masculine feeling about the feminine? Oh, <laughs> okay. So now do you see how that actually makes perfect sense as to why he's hoarding? Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, you know, I don't draw that card very often. I actually do not. So when I do, it is very, very special. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So now, how is he feeling? What was our question? How is he feeling about the feminine? So, he is definitely feeling heartbreak right now, three of swords. And that is why his current energy is that of the four of pentacles, right? Um, he is emotional. So this goes in still with that cups energy that, that, um, that he is feeling right now. He's in an emotional state, right? He's feeling heartbroken. He's feeling disappointed. And that's why he's actually stepped back. He's withdrawn right now in that four of pentacles. But at the same time here, you have this two of wands with, which also tells us that there is passion in him. There is a desire in him to take action. So it's not that he's just completely rested in that miserly hoarding energy. He's not completely held back. He is for the moment, but below that, below that, he has a desire to act. Okay. So this is hopeful, actually. You know, this is not as bad as it looks. This two of wands tells me that he feels tremendous passion for you and that, th that there is something that he does want to do. He does want to move forward. He does want to make a decision and take an action, but he's not quite sure yet what that's going to be. However, look at the foundations of this. Oh my God. Look how beautiful this is. So this tells me, look at, again, the question was, how does he feel about you, feminine? Well, there you have it. He feels that solid, deep, twin flame connection with you. And he wants romance. He wants to pursue it. It's not that he doesn't. But because the, so oftentimes what happens is that the deeper we feel, the deeper the pain, right? So the deeper that he may feel right now, the more he may want to act, this two of wands towards this romance, the depth of his feeling here, right? He feels so much for you that he feels heartbroken right now because things are not going, may not be going the way you want. You guys might be in separation, even just for a brief time. You may have had some sort of disagreement. You may not be seeing eye to eye. You may have put your relationship on hold for now. So there's a deep pain associated with that because he feels so much. But look at this. 
He definitely wants to move forward from this. He wants to resolve this. He wants your romance back. Okay, look at this. Revel, flow, savor, entice, open yourself to romance. He wants to open himself again to you, feminine. Beautiful. Okay, so then um, let's talk about, let's ask the question, how does the feminine then as of now, right now, feel about the masculine. What is her feelings? <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at the synchronicity there. Incredible. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my, my. You know, I'm just so... Uh, so deeply appreciative of spirit here. Oh my God. You know, I've noticed again and again, the cards just balance. They have so much synchronicity. I feel like spirit is operating in the most subtle, you know, like that, that, that kind of subtlety at which they're operating. Like they, even the smallest details do not get past spirit. And so when these cards come up and come up in these perfect synchronicities, it shows you how deeply connected we are. All of us are to spirit and how much they are there for us, how much they think of us, how much they care about us. Um, and how much these messages come through from them for us to better understand, uh, understand ourselves and each other. So to me, that is a soul expansion insight, guys. <laughs> I hope it is for you. Okay, so here's what's going on with the feminine. She is... Oh, first of all, in this page of swords energy, okay? And what's so interesting about the page of swords is that it is... Um, on the one hand, it is a page that wants to come forth, okay? Wants to take fat, fast action, is really thinking about it, right? Is in her head and is considering different plans of action, considering different ways in which she can just kind of like rush out and get the results that she wants. However, the one interesting aspect that's different about the Page of Swords is that this sword, where is it pointing? This is the only page where the sword is pointing back not forward. And as you know, what is the purpose of a sword? If, if you're not pointing it forward, right? A sword is a weapon that you point towards somebody else, not back at yourself. So this is very telling for us. And what this means in uh, tarot is that even though she has plans and ideas of wanting to take different types of actions, has strategies, has all these things in play, there is something that she is still withholding, okay? There's a secret energy here that she is not sharing. And look at this. That's why there's this beauty of the synchronicity of this mystery card. Look at this magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory, okay? So there is definitely going on with with the feminine right now, some intrigue and mystery, okay? She may have some plans that she's not telling anybody about. She may have some ideas that she's not sharing with anyone. She's keeping her cards close to the vest, almost like in gambling and poker, right? Like, what do we do when we keep our cards close to our vest? We are having a, um, what is that? What is it called? The, 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 blunt, the, um, that poker face, right? She's not giving anything away. She's keeping herself a mystery. She's not really sharing what's going on with her. And that can actually, um, you know, unsettle the, the masculine for sure. And then on the other hand, while she's in that stage, while she's doing that, she's also the re I think the reason why she is mysterious right now is because she is trying to balance a lot of different forces. Okay. So again, beautiful synchronicity with the chariot and balance. Okay. She is, has a lot going on right now. Okay. There are so many different forces at play for her that she literally has to take control. And being the charioteer, she has to take control of all of those different horses that are going in different directions. So right now she's looking for balance. 
She's looking to control the forces in her life. She's looking to find a balanced state and she's looking for an empowered state here. And she knows that there are a lot of forces that are out of her control right now. But what she's going to do is focus on the ones that she can control. And that is why she's kind of very busy working behind the scenes. She's kind of like busy working on her life, trying to find that wonderful place of empowerment and balance so that she can feel very good about herself. And when people are in that state and they don't need anything from anybody, they don't necessarily want anything. They're more focused on themselves and trying to, you know, increase their own greatness, then obviously there's going to be a mystery, right? There's a beautiful mystery there because they're not out there. They're not needy, right? She's, this is, none of this is a needy energy. None of this for the feminine. It's a very strong, independent energy. None of this is needy. So it's very, very empowering. Wonderful. So what would our next question then? Let's take a look at this. Now that we know where the masculine and feminine are and what they're thinking and feeling, if the masculine could say something to you, feminine, what would his messages be? What would he want to say to you? Okay, so here you got a shadow and light card, okay? So there is a bit of a split energy here. So let's take a look at these two first. Don't lose hope for us. We can work it out. I need more time to figure this out. Okay, so again, this is where we're getting into that same energy that he was in before, which was that four of pentacles energy, right? So he is hoarding. He does need some more time. But at the same time, see, this is that cups energy. He doesn't want you to lose hope for the two of you. He wants to work it out. So this is going back to, again, that twin flame energy, that two of wands energy that he was in of actually wanting to do something. So again, look how beautifully these messages match to the energies that he has been coming through as in this entire reading. I hope you're seeing this. I mean, it is just like, to me, it just blows my mind. The perfection of it. Again, spirit. Only spirit can be perfect, right? <laughs> Only they can be perfect. Look at the perfection of this balanced state of this exact. This goes with his four of pentacles. This goes with his two of wands. Amazing, right? And look at this. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Okay, so this also goes back to that three of swords energy that he's in, right? He's feeling very heartbroken because of the way that he, his own insecurities got between the two of you, right? It may have even ended the relationship for now. It may have put a lot of distance between the two of you and he may have just walked away or withdrawn back so far that you didn't want to go and pursue him. So you let it go. And now here he is licking his wounds, um, you know, in that three of swords energy, feeling heartbroken, you know, even more feeling the connection with you because of the distance. It's almost like distance makes that heart grow fonder. And that's why you get that bleeding three of swords heart. This distance that has come between you has left him um, looking at things from a new perspective, and the pain of it has been tremendous for him. So that's the other part of all of this that, you know, I think spirit wants you to know for sure. Okay, so if that is the case, what is the future energy of this connection in the, in the upcoming future? Where may this connection be going, spirit? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Wow. Okay. This is really lovely, actually. Very, very positive. Okay. So this two of pentacles has often been seen as the 
twin flame card in the tarot. So that's really, really beautiful because of this, right? This twin thing here and the yin yang. So this tells me that again, right? You already got the twin flame card here. You're getting it again with the star. So what does that tell you? That there is tremendous potential in this connection, guys. There is tremendous potential here. You know, something is looking bright. Even if you feel that right now things are not that great, I think what this reading shows you about these masculines right now is that beneath all of the pain and the bad things that may have happened, they still want to move forward and recapture that romance. They want to move forward and recapture that connection. And so that's why you have this, you know, making a choice, right? The twos are always about making a choice. So now here we have as possible future energy, a choice being made, somebody moving forward, um, somebody actually taking action and it working out like the future is bright. If this action is taken in the right way, the future is very bright. It's going to succeed. And so imagine this, like if you, if, if, Spirit can tell you, I feel that that's where these two cards are coming from. I feel that spirit is telling you that this is entirely possible, but these are the things that are going to make it possible. Okay. So this inner child, as well as a self-worth. So what I feel that spirit is, is trying to convey here is that both of you need to access these energies within yourself if you want to heal this relationship. So the first thing is your inner child. Oh my gosh, let me look at this. Playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest. So this goes in back to why I wanted you to write, I am pure joy, because what is your inner child, really? Everybody has one. And the reason why I created that card in this deck is because I wanted to remind you that the joy that you feel inside, that childlike joy and enthusiasm that is in you is your birthright. It is always there. It is who you really are. But it has gotten obscured by years of experience, age, struggles, obstacles, things not working out the way you'd like. So all of these things have gotten in the way and oftentimes we can't even access our inner child anymore. We can't access that joy that is our birthright. So I believe spirit is saying is that if you truly want to be in this star's energy where both of you come together in a really fresh, new, beautiful way, you're both going to have to access the inner child within within yourselves. You're going to have to find your joy. And with that comes mutual understanding, mutual respect, mutual um, acceptance, right? Lack of judgment because you both feel happy in and of yourselves. And the other thing that is so important that goes along with that is your self-worth, values, self-esteem, confidence, be empowered by valuing yourself. So both of you, in order to get into the star's energy and in order for you both to come together again, you're both going to have to practice self-worth. You're going to have to increase the ways in which you think of yourselves. You're going to have to be more confident. You want to increase your self-esteem. You have to value yourself above all else in terms of who you are and what you have to give to this world, not just to this one relationship. So I think these are beautiful, just beautiful. There's such a potential here, but you need to both work on yourselves here. You both need to access these things because because that will help you to come back together. Oh, lovely. Just lovely. Okay, so we're going to close the reading out with um, some um, advice from Spirit as you move forward, right? Empowering advice. What does Spirit have to say in terms of giving you some great ideas and advice? <laughs> Look at this again, the mystery card. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. See, there you go. So here you go. Mystery, magic, excitement. And this goes back to remember the divine feminine's energy. 
that there's a mystery and a magic around her and there's definite excitement. So I think what spirit is trying to say here is to stay in that wonderful, positive energy. Okay. Get yourself in to that excitement that things can be healed. Things can be resolved. And now look at this, this is very beautiful, very positive cards here. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So to me, this is a confirmation from spirit that you do have a solid connection here, that it is worth saving and you both are capable of doing that. Okay. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Isn't this so beautiful? So I feel like this goes back again to working on yourself so that you can come back together um, in a really powerful way. And this time make it hopefully permanent, make it the exact relationship that you always wanted so that you both feel happy and fulfilled. And you're giving each other so much love and reciprocity that you just grow and grow together. Okay. Oh, that is a beautiful reading. I hope you loved it. Make sure that you write in the comments, I am pure joy and optional. If you had any soul expansion insights, any aha moments, I would love to read them. I'm sure the rest of the Live Tarot community would love it if you shared as well. So if you love this reading, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I want you to know, always remember, I love you. And I believe in you and I will see you all on the next video.